We used to have bleach war guns. We used to um, fill up water guns with bleach and shoot each other with them. You know, forget super soakers and all that stuff and the ones that with the ink. We wanted to let you know if we shot you, we shot you. And um, we'd fill them up with bleach and you'd have your stains on your clothes. And people with their little $70 pair of Cavaricis would hate that. And I'd be rocking my skids. I didn't give a shit. So um, one time a teacher, Miss Benzlock, she ripped the water guns out of her hand in a fight we were having a bunch of us up in the stairwell and uh she grabbed the water gun out of her hand it fell I'll never forget it. it turned her red satin shoe completely white instantly and she flipped and she wanted us to pay for it and we were like hey man we, you never should have took that gun out of her damn hands you know what I mean but we were crazy back in those days we were having fun being stupid we went to Great Adventure on a class trip one time and me and Five or six others, we literally robbed the living shit out of Statue of Liberty. We made it into a game. Like, we used to be stupid little thieves back in grammar school, and we made it into a game to see how many, how much money value-wise we could steal, and probably stole thousands of dollars worth of that day of merchandise. Little memorabilia, keychains, coins, stupid shit, and gave them to everybody and anyone that wanted a, you know, souvenir. We gave them one, and, um... That was a good time. We had a, we had a dance con we had a talent contest in eighth grade, and uh, we weren't gonna enter it. This and that. And the day of the contest, somebody bailed out, and uh, they asked us to do it. Me, my friend Vinny, my friend Rich, and as a joke, we said, "Yeah, we'd do it." So um, we had to do it to the song that the person was gonna do it to, and it was Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. Sort of God. So we had to, we had literally like three hours to practice. My friends could team um, Kim. Billy, Buff, they, they helped us put together a little dance routine thing, and I was one of the backup dancers, so was Paradise, and Vinny was the Vanilla Ice character, and we went on stage, and we danced, and I did a little freestyle dance thing, and I was humping the floor, and it was 8th grade, and people were yelling, go white boy, go white boy, go, and there's still a video out there, I'm sure my friend Kim has it, because her sister was on there and stuff too, but the, the video was, um, it's out there somewhere, I'd actually like to see that video again, or... My friend Rich's sister might still have it. It was great. It was classic. I'd love to transfer it to DVD and save it. And I'm not embarrassed of that video at all. Good times. Great times. Menu school. Great times. Um, that's where I got my first tag name, G Money. Um, first time I ever tagged G Money. Was, my last name was G. And it was like, yo, Money. G Money. I tagged in the bathroom upstairs in menu school. And uh, a little bar. And literally like five seconds after I tagged it, the principal walked in and caught me. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I couldn't even bust it. It was still ink. It was still wet, you know. Um, man, good times, good times. We used to go on missions in West Quarteret. They had these uh, sewer drain pipes, and we'd take a box and pretend like it was the Goonies and, like, old school movies. And, like, let's see, let's, let's adventure and go that way, see what happens. And literally, we'd go to, like, like, a big sewage dump and, like, swamps and factories pretty much but it was just cool probably not the best place for young kids to be walking down um years later they found out that all that ground was contaminated from oil spill that happened in the 90s uh 100,000 gallons of um heating oil dripped into the river right by the school that we went to and second large the world's second largest garbage dump in the new jersey is right across the street from the school, so there's a lot of contaminants and shit there, so one day I might have kids with three heads or some bullshit like that because of all that factories and pollution there, but menu school was great times, great times. Another more times I wish I can go back to and redo all over again. Um, a lot of good, a lot of bad, I mean, so many times I could literally talk about with that. Um... Even going to the dinner dance, I brought my best friend, I was supposed to remember this girl, Tara, and we made a joke and told her that uh, I was too poor to afford a corsage while I was giving her a rubber band with a bunch of dandelions attached to it. She flipped out, told me she wasn't going with me, and called me cheap and a few other words, and um, I went up taking my buddy George, me and him went, it was a joke, and um, where I went, had my little meal, and I bounced, and me and my friend Phil, and his cousin, uh, my friend Vinny and his cousin Tony, we, told, we bounced out the Grand Slam, which was a batting cage thing, and uh, we spent our dinner dance pretty much there at another party for Lincoln School 
um, pretty much after many school, we lived at my friend Tony's house night and day an entire summer after that and got ready and prepared for high school, which is a whole different story.